as we approach April, it's uh, certainly very close to the time when we need to think about the breeding program for any replacement heifers that we're going to uh, breed this spring and, and have ready to calve uh, next year. One of the cautions that I always like to remind producers at this time of the year is to make sure that these replacement heifers don't have a real drop off in nutrition right before the start of the breeding season. And the way this could happen is if perhaps we've uh, raised these heifers on some wheat pasture or some other really good growing program and perhaps have to move them to another location to get them close to the headquarters where we can uh, gather them up and do synchronization and artificial insemination. In the process of that, if we allow these heifers to lose a lot of weight in a short period of time, it could really affect their ability to become bred during this breeding season. Research was done here at Oklahoma State uh, a number of years ago looking at that very situation where they had a set of heifers that were growing properly. They were fed a diet that was 120% of what they need for maintenance. And so this is a growing diet that these heifers were on. They tested the heifers using some blood samples and knew that all of them were cycling when they started this particular program. Then they took half of the heifers and instead of giving them 120% of their maintenance diet, they cut that into one third of that or half those heifers only got 40% of what they needed in order to maintain weight. And they did this for just two weeks. Then they gave them a, one of the synchronization drugs and checked to see which of the heifers still were cycling and would ovulate and have a chance to breed. What they found I thought was, was rather startling and that is of the heifers that were fed to maintain that 120% of maintenance, in other words to keep growing, all of those heifers responded to the drug and did ovulate. The heifers that were cut way back and only got 40% of what they needed, 70% of those heifers did not cycle, did not ovulate. Only 30% actually did. Tremendous difference in just two weeks time. And that reminds me that as we're getting close to the breeding season with replacement heifers, those that are just now reaching puberty and start to cycle, we want to keep them growing, keep them uh, nutritionally sound going into and through the breeding season in order to get a high percentage of them to cycle and to conceive to the, whether it be AI or natural breeding. Keep this in mind that during this upcoming breeding season and you'll have a higher percentage of those heifers bred when you check them next fall. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.